bump there by Murray up against the boards in the corner and Sharpley will come out of the Chicago zone. It is Sharpley carrying out to center ice, crisscrossing with Wilson, moving across the North Star line, and Randy Mitten says it's offside. Here's the ruling on the uh, gross misconduct. Four fights in the stands here in Chicago. This is, this is stupid, absolutely stupid. People are falling over the chairs, they're falling over each other. There's beer being thrown. At least I, I'm, I'm glad the fans behind us are keeping their heads. Go well, on with the rolling. You have it or not? Uh, I got here. It says in regular league games, any player in Cruiser total. And then I had it here a second ago, and I lost it when I looked up there. The playoff games, any player? Of two-game misconduct shall be suspended automatically for the next playoff game. Well, he's got a 10 plus a gross. Well, the men in orange, those are the security here, and they're policemen. Now, now we got. No, oh, they. I don't think they're. Everybody else just clears away. <laughs> you can see what's happening here. Well, they look to the ice for the example. Take his shoe off. Now he's going to hit somebody with the shoe. Watch this. I've seen that before. Oh, there. Have another one. You want to fight? You want to get smart with everybody? That's what you'll get. Meet me out there, sure. We've got 11 minutes and 29 seconds on the clock remaining in this one here in the third period. Stars lead it seven to one. Bobby Smith from Cicerelli and McCarthy going back to the first period at 225. And Cicerelli from Smith and Roberts at 1022. Look at this. This guy's, he's putting the handcuffs on this one. <laughs> you think he's in a tough position right now? Those are policemen. They, you can see that they stick together, guys. <laughs> You're not too smart when you start messing with them. And, of course, we can't see too much happening here, but let's wait and see what happens. I wonder what happens to him when he gets out in the corridor there. I'll bet you, uh, well, now they've got one of the cops. Here they go again. Oh, one guy really went down. Oh, did he go down. It's right below the press box. And let me tell you, those guys all the Minnesota broadcast. Or the writers now should have a great view of this. That whole end, the people are falling over the sleets. By the way, in case you've forgotten, the North Star still leaks seven to one. But the nonsense that happens on the ice so often, Bob, carries into, into the, the stands. stands. And you don't think this is not going to make the papers around the country tomorrow, and the league is going to wind up with another well-deserved black eye. Now, I think, when this comes to the league attention, but, they may do something Okay, but about do you it. think that Morel has called a bad game? I thought he was a little loose at first. Not in the third, third period. There's nothing he could do about it. No, I think he's, uh, I, I don't fault him at all. I mean, this is playoff hockey, and you've got to expect a little more intensity. You've got to call the key situation. Well, but, Tommy, Chicago isn't, didn't come out in the third period to play hockey. I they realize came that. out with one thing but, in mind. But he's called the penalties yeah. right, right, right away, Bob. He's called them. Let's get this thing back underway, get things settled down, hopefully in the stands, and get everybody out of here in one piece. Okay, play is going to resume. The North Stars lead 7 to 1, 11 29 remaining. You just hear the roar of this crowd is behind. Hawkinson for hooking at 9 34. Clearing out to center ice, clearing it into the Minnesota zone. Stop by Melash, off now for Giles, as crashing into the boards and hurt back behind the play. Mulvey, I believe it is. I think it might be Sutter. He went in heavily into the boards on the end there. It was Daryl Sutter. And luckily for him, I'm sure he's wearing a helmet. This didn't help. I think his head hit the boards as well. I don't think a head is the main problem. Here. Looks like he might have gone in and his butt into the stick might have hit the boards and jammed back in the midsection. That's the possible, yeah. Over. We have two minutes and 15 seconds left to play. They just keep circling there at center with 20 seconds to go. Secord cutting in. 
Now Secord's hit by Barrett. Secord gives Barrett the slug. Malosh makes the save in all this melee. Watch and out. Luckily, we only have 13 seconds left. I'm not sure how long it's going to take us to play the 13 seconds. Well, they seem to have cooled down a little bit, so hopefully we can get it through without any... Oh. Begin to wonder whether there'll be the traditional handshake when this series concludes. Tommy has Watch a, the save right here. Take a look we'll at the save. But Tommy, as a player, how do you feel or how did you feel when you were involved in a game or a contest or a series like this? I, I don't mind the, the, the rough stuff as long as it's good and clean. That, you know, that's part of the game. You expect to be hit, you expect to hit others. I don't like the nonsense that goes on, you know. Off the faceoff now, controlled by Chicago. Hutchinson stopped there by Payne with five seconds to go as play comes down on the Chicago end. Well, our choice for the North Star Skelly Star of the Game Award. Congratulations, and Skelly gives to goaltender Gilles Milan.